Today, we're gonna be cooking up some Jamaican saltfish, Jamaican callaloo and saltfish, and we're gonna eat that with um, dumpling, banana, and yam. So just watch along, and I'll try to explain as I go what I use and how I do it, all right? So I already cooked up my saltfish. So I got my saltfish all nice and cooked up. And I put it to the side. I cut up my um, my onion and tomato. I cut that up. I put a little bit of oil in the pot. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, fry up my onion and my tomato first. Fry it up a little bit. Then, Cut up some peppers, some red pepper, some yellow pepper. I'm gonna put that in after I put in the onion and tomato, you know, because it cooks a little quicker, you know. And then I'm gonna add the callaloo and then I'm gonna let it steam. So just watch along as I do my thing, you know. Here I got some fresh callaloo that I um, chopped up and clean. Another video on how I um, clean the callaloo. That's a whole nother video right there.
bartenders arrive from around the world for dinner. So I'm gonna let that steam for about, I'm gonna let it steam for about eight to 10 minutes. You don't have to add no water to it. The color will make its own water, you know? dumpling I'm gonna add my dumpling and my um my dumpling and my banana and stuff you know I get a pot of boiling water going then I'm gonna add my dumpling my yam and my banana
So my color low looking, looking good, you know. Turn the heat down. I'm let it dry out a little bit. Let it dry out a little bit, you know. Nice and lovely looking. Now I can add the sawfish. I'm going to add the sawfish to it. Mix it up, mix it up. A lot of people just um, eat color loose straight. A lot of people don't like sawfish. You know? Drop some black pepper in there. some black pepper drop a little garlic in there a little bit of garlic and mix them up again Cover him up and let him cook for another. Let him cook. Let him cook for another. Um, for another five to seven minutes. Let him cook. You know. So when my food is cooking, I'm going to um, cut up that pear, yeah? um, in Jamaica we call it pear, um, up here you guys call it avocado, you know, usually in Jamaica we like to eat our food, we like to have a slice or two of pear, you know, so cut up some pear.
I'm going to say I'm going to cut up some pear because, believe it or not, this is a quick, quick, quick meal to cook, you know? Quick meal to cook. So, cut up two slices of pear and by the time I quit, my food done cook. Now I gotta do a little taste test. Make sure it's not missing any type of seasoning or nothing. If it's missing some type of seasoning, I'll go ahead and fix it. The sawfish itself contains a lot of salt, so make sure you watch what type of seasoning you're putting in this. Make sure the seasoning don't have no salt, you know? Be honest with you, we're ready, food ready right now. So, food ready. So, I'm just away from the dumpling to cook, you know.
So this is what the final product look like. Um, make sure to like, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and stay tuned for new videos as I try to improve on my cooking videos. You know, it's kind of rough to cook on all the camera and stuff like that, but I'm getting better at it. This is how my plate look. See on my plate, I got kalalu and sawfish. I have kalaloo and sawfish, then I have boiled, boiled dumpling, banana, and I have pear right there. You know, so anybody need any step-by-step -step ingredients, just drop me an email and stuff like that, you know. Once again, respect everybody for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video.